Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing our sinking funds for May. If you haven't already checked out our May budget video, definitely go check it out. I talk about um, what we have been adding to our sinking funds and all of that. Of course, you'll see some of it, but it's always fun to watch another video. Um, so the way that I like to set it up is I always have my weekly check-in, well, I guess we start from the beginning. I always have my variable income here. This is all my Sarah Marie business stuff. Then I have my expense tracking. This is for anything that's in our budget. I have our weekly check-in, our monthly budget, our sinking funds and our transaction log. And our transaction log is strictly for our sinking funds because the sinking funds, if I tracked all of that in our monthly view, it would be insane. So I don't do that. Um, I just have the transaction log there. I'm gonna be using this pen and I talked about it yesterday. It's the Friction um, 0.5. I really like this pen because not only does it erase, it's really thin. I love thin pens. So um, I'll have a link down below if you guys wanna check it out. And then of course, I'm gonna be using my kits because I love them. So anyway, let's go ahead. I need to put up uh, the budget video today, like for today. So I need to quickly do this one so that I can put that up in time. Honestly, it'll probably be a little bit late, but it's all right. I feel like I've been getting a lot done today, um, which is nice. I finally finished all of my material for reg. I All I have to do now is just take notes on the last two modules, but that could take some time because... Um, the modules are like really long. One of them were like 50, one of them was like 55 minutes, the other one was like over 40. So I just feel like as long as I get most of it done, like as long as I get the lecture and stuff done, I'm in pretty good shape. I have a lot of my kits over here, you guys can probably see already. It's kind of a mess, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, so let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and just write out all my ca categories and then I'll put in what I'm adding to it. I'm not gonna put the beginning amount because obviously it's still March or March, it's still April um, and I don't want to do that before I know what the true ending balance is. So as always, I think the only thing that has changed with our sinking funds is now we have a taxes um, sinking fund and that is for estimated taxes. If you did not watch yesterday's video, I did talk about the fact that I've gotten a lot of questions about estimated taxes and a lot of business questions. And just legally, because I'm hopefully soon going to be a CPA and I'm liable for any advice I'm giving, I'm not giving any advice with regard to that. I don't do taxes. We have someone that helps us with taxes. I definitely recommend getting a tax professional if you're in a similar situation where you have business income, like if you're self-employed or whatever, um, definitely contact someone, find someone that is going to be able to help you. But just for liability reasons, that's not something that I can do. So I will not be disclosing the amount of estimated taxes that I'm you know, tucking away. Um, they are due for us every quarter. So I just wanna make sure that we're prepared for that because it's definitely something that you have to pay. Like you, it's not an option. Um, and I know what the amount is gonna be based off of the calculation that, you know, we came up with our, pack, our tax professional. So anyway, back to sinking funds. The first category is beauty. And then we have our car insurance. We have car maintenance. We have our car tags. Our cell phone. This month is gonna be insane for sinking funds. It's just, there's, we needed to catch up a lot on um, negative balances. So, so Christmas also includes other gifts. Then we have clothes for all of us. So we have clothes for Jason, clothes for Macy, clothes for me. Then we have diapers. Macy's been doing really well with, di with potty training. So hopefully that category will be more like used for other things um, or maybe combined with her clothes category at some point. Um, then we have our entertainment fund, which we love having. We actually, Jason and I used it last night when we went to go see Endgame. 
Um, then we have our family pictures and we might actually get family pictures sometime soon because it's technically like spring now so it would be a good time to do those. We have a category for golf which is for Jason. Just something that he enjoys doing and so um, instead of having him you know try and save up his allowance for that we're just putting aside a little money so that he can go during the summer because it's something that he really likes, really likes doing. Um, we also have home maintenance which we're going to be adding a little bit to. We have Jason's medications. We have medical, which is another category that we've had a lot of activity in. Our pool passes, which I need to still purchase. The discounted rate is actually until the end of April, so I need to do that really bad. Um, we have our tolls, taxes, like I said, we're adding to, so that's that. Trash, vacation, and our water okay so that's everything for sinking funds so i'm going to go ahead and add in our little total here and now i can draw in our lines and then we can get to the amounts one thing that I really like about this pen is that if I ever mess up, I can really easily just erase it. Um, I've been using it a lot for studying, and for some reason, like as I'm taking notes, it seems like I start thinking about the next word, and then I end up writing it on accident. So it's hard because when I'm filming these videos too, I'm trying to like make sure I'm in frame. I'm trying to make sure that I'm like talking so it's not me just like doing nothing. Um, and so it's really hard to do all of that with something that's somewhat permanent. So I really like having these pens for that reason. Seriously, how cute is that? I love it. Okay, so let's add in our amount. So I just have to remember to put it in the addition column. So for beauty, we're going to add $90, and this is mostly just because I need to catch up on what I've already purchased in April. I have been switching up my beauty routine a little bit more. Um, before I was using the Clinique Acne Solutions um, face wash and everything like that, and I'm trying to kind of wean my body off of that. I don't know if I necessarily need it anymore. I've been on it for so long that I honestly don't know and it stains everything. Our towels are stained, my pillowcases are stained, so I'm trying to get away from it. Um, then is our car insurance, which is 175. Car maintenance, we're gonna add $50. At some point, I will be needing another oil change, and I also just want to make sure that if anything happens with my car, we have a little bit stashed away for that. Our car tags are $17 per month. Um, that's something that we just have to pay for every, well, we have two cars, but we pay that every year for each car. So not too much at all, but I mean $100 for just one month seems like a lot if you don't save up for it. Cell phone is $50. That's, I talked about this a lot, but we have a family plan with Jason's family. And so we don't pay it every month. We pretty much prepay it. Um, and so I just like to pay like six months or even a year ahead um, and do it that way. For our Christmas and gifts, um, category, I'm going to add $50 in. This includes birthday presents for us, for family members. It includes Christmas, um, Easter, stuff like that. Um, so all of that fun stuff. For Jason's clothes, I'm adding in $20. For Macy's clothes, I'm adding in $100. And that's really just to catch up for the spring and summer clothes that we already purchased for her. Um, for me, we're just adding in $20. Diapers, we're doing $20 as well. And then for entertainment, we're adding $250, and that, again, is another category that we're just catching up on. Family pictures, we're adding in 17 At this point, we have quite a bit in our family pictures, so um, that is definitely something that we need to figure out a good time to do. Golf, we're adding in 50 
home maintenance, I'm adding in $20. We still have a pretty good amount left in home maintenance, so I don't think we need a ton, but it is something that I want to keep adding to. Jason's medication, I'm adding in $20. Um, this was previously $38, but I'm pretty sure Jason's new medication um, is less expensive, so I don't want to put in, I don't, I don't want to keep putting in more than what we need. Medical, we're adding in $500. And again, that's another category that we're just kind of reimbursing ourselves for. Um, we've had a lot of medical stuff lately with when we went to Florida and Macy got some weird type of rash. Like, it's just kind of never ending. So that's that. Pool passes are $15. And at this point, we should have plenty in our pool passes so that we can get our pool passes for this upcoming year. Tolls, I'm adding in $20. And then skip down to trash, we're adding in $26. That's usually around what it is. Um, I think we pay that every three months. Vacation, I'm adding $250. I have a feeling that we're going to go visit my sister again, all three of us, in July. So we need to start saving up for flights again. That's really the only big thing we have to pay for um, besides food, but we're only going to be there for a couple days. So I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. And then water, I'm adding in $30. So that, those are our sinking funds for May. As I said, I, as I said in my budget video, I just love the colors for me. I love the peach color. I just think that it's perfect. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set up my transaction log while we're here, just so that it's all set to go. I don't know about you guys, but as soon as my budget is set up for May or for the month, I just feel like I'm prepared. Um, and of course I did my like monthly plan with me earlier than I normally do. So I just feel like I am ready to tackle May <laughs> and I'm excited because if I am if I pass the CP exam, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so nice. My budget system has been working really well for us lately. Um, I feel like since I've came up with my kits and since we've been tracking things and everything like that, I just feel a little bit more organized um, than I did before with our old method. So I'm really grateful that I started doing all of this because I think it's really working for us. So I'm just drawing out lines and we've been using quite a bit of our transaction log. So that's another thing that would be really nice to have like additional space because it seems like as you add more sinking funds, you have more transactions that are coming out. So anyway, that is our sinking funds um, set up for May. Tomorrow I will have my cash divider stuffing as well as my other um, my other tracker. So my weekly check-in page, my variable income page. Um, so definitely check back in to see that. If you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below. I mentioned this in my budget video um, for May, but my shop is obviously linked down below. I am on a, on a vacation right now as I am preparing for Go Wild and for um, my next CPA exam. So I will be back. Um, definitely check out my shop if you want to see, you know, the specific dates and everything like that. Um, but June's kits will be released the day that I am back. So I'm really excited about it. Like I said, I really love the style of the kits and I'm just going to give you guys a little teaser. Um, it's definitely way different than what I normally would do, which is probably why I like it so much is because it's just different. So anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, again, if you have questions for me, leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.